Good afternoon. This is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, I am going to talk about the BSON, which is uh, uh, the document type was stored inside the MongoDB database. And because of the relationship between BSON and JSON, so let's talk about both of them in this video. Okay, we might need to compare them a little bit. First, uh, we will talk about the JSON. What is JSON? JSON is a JavaScript object notation, right? Which is a standard for data exchange on modern web applications, which is very popular. And uh, another choice we can have is to using what? Using XML to do the data interchange, right? And uh, what's uh, when we do the exchange on the data, JSON is uh, much more popular than XML nowadays. And why? First one is it's a lightweight. What is called a lightweight? Lightweight is a compare between the JSON and the XML for the same amount of data I want to transfer from one server or from one application to another application. The entire payload for them are totally different. Like suppose I want to just transfer a collection of a person, a collection of person into uh, into an application. In JSON format, we're just using a bracket represent entire, represent it's a collection, right? So in this bracket, we will have a collection of each one, each of the document object represent a person. So here I'm gonna have ID is one, and I will have name, Right, name is something. M name is uh, uh, N1, okay? And I'm gonna have ID is two, and the name is uh, N2. Okay, name two and others. But this is uh, the whole payload for the JSON format to carry the person. But if when we represent it in XML, you're gonna have a person list like this okay and in the person list you're gonna have each person and each person gonna have ID which is a one and I have a name and uh, it's n1 and you have to continue have a closing tag and then you have have to opening tag for another person and here we're gonna have ID is yes, two ID and I have a name is N2. Okay, this is a closing tab and I have a person and you continue has more and a person list closing tag. So for the same amount of information, compare the size between the JSON and XML. We obviously know the JSON is much more lightweight. This is called a lightweight. And also, it's more like uh, transversible. Transversible. I'm using this pen, pen so it's not as clear as uh, like transversible. Transversible. Okay. It's not as clear as we write on the, you know, the, the what, where? Write on the paper. <laughs> so when we have a JSON object, okay, and uh, we can easily to traverse using Java, JavaScript, right, with a very minimum, uh, no or little uh, transformation. We just need to transform this JSON string into a JavaScript object. Then we can using JavaScript to automatically uh, to uh, loop 
loop on the object and then to grab information of each of the person ID or name very easily, right? And for XML, if we want to traverse this XML, think about how would you do inside the, in JavaScript. It's not as easy as JSON, JSON obviously, okay? And the third one is fast, okay? First, I think we can consider bit based on the uh, payload uh, between the JSON and XML and how it is traversable. It's going to be much faster that if we want to traverse the JSON and traverse XML, it's going to be much faster when we traverse the JSON type, right? So uh, the JSON, this is a JSON, okay, introduction, and the JSON also support lots of the data type. JSON support like for string and for number, uh, it is support, and for uh, na so string number and uh, what others, oh, uh, array, it is support, right? Here we have array, and it also support for embedded document, right? which means inside the array, I have a more document like here, this uh, ID name, okay. And uh, uh, string array number and the Boolean, I forgot one Boolean, okay. Boolean, like a true or false, it also support, okay. So this is JSON and I'm done now. So what is the BSON? BSON is the actual type which being the actual document type inside the MongoDB being used. BSON supports for a uh, stands for binary JSON. What we you as a developer we can directly store we can directly store our JSON object into our database. But MongoDB will represent this uh, JSON document as a BSON type in MongoDB, which is a binary format uh, document in the MongoDB. And uh, why do that? Because when we're using the binary uh, BSON type, it uh, actually is an extension on the JSON. You can think of that, uh, think about it like this way. It's an extension, like a superset of a JSON. It's like a, a TypeScript and JavaScript. TypeScript it provides some extend, extended features on JavaScript. BSON is like provide extended features on the JSON. Okay. So the first one is uh, uh, it is still uh, support. It will support. It will support a more uh, data type. And uh, so because when we uh, store in a database in the MongoDB, we have to have a primary key, right? And uh, in MongoDB, it have a special type used for the primary key value called the object ID. This one is the special inside the, the BSON, which MongoDB provide for you. And also like a JSON in a JSON, how do you represent a date? A timestamp. Normally, we were just using the string, right? We are using a string like a representative. Uh, today is 2020, uh, March 22. So we're just using a string. And uh, in BSON, it will also support for the data type, okay? And uh, other feature, other types, I couldn't remember now. You search by yourself. Okay, anyway, you just support a more uh, data type compared with JSON. And also, it will be easily to add the index. With the BSON type, we can add the index on that, on the document, the each of the field. Suppose here, most of the time, we want to search by the name, okay? So we can add an index on that to boost our query, okay? And also, uh, it also can do is, uh, what's the, uh, for the, when we do the query, we can using the query expression. You will learn in the future. Suppose I want to use a regular expression to search if all the blogs contains MongoDB, this keyword, 
right? And uh, you want to search or do the filter, you can use the query expression, which is also supported by the Bison and that. And uh, I think uh, I, it also support the full store other like a binary data. Suppose you want to store the entire image, you can also store there. And it also thinks Bison is, is an extension on the JSON. So it again the same feature as the G, uh, JSON has, and which is like uh, the uh, lightweight, right? And uh, next one is uh, transversible and uh, fast, transversible and uh, fast. Because when we suppose, when we grab the information from the database, okay, in MySQL or those SQL based database, we have to wrap as an object, right? We have to get that. And uh, because, uh, like uh, uh, in MySQL, the first version we learned probably using the uh, JDBC. And when we get the JDBC, it will give you a collection of rows and separate it with the columns. So you have to manually traverse the data set, result set, one by one, then compare and then uh, initialize the um, object and set the value in each of the object. But with the Bison, since it's a JSON, you can easily to convert, do a very little or, or no conversion on the format of the result set. And you can easily to using JavaScript or most of the modern language to easily traverse this and dis display or grab or change the information as you want. And it's very lightweight and it's transversible and it's uh, pretty fast, at least faster than uh, like XML way or the MySQL, uh, no, no, XML, okay, anyway. Um, that's all I want to talk about uh, between the JSON and the, the Bison. Bison is a binary JSON, it's an extension on the JSON, okay? And it just add more features on that to be more suitable on the database, okay? To be stored database data types. Okay, so that's it for this one. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.